Hello everybody, this is NepaFan here, and this is the 16th race in season number one of the Crown Royal Series. We are here at the Armory Digital Super Speedway for the Armory Digital 250, a 15-lap race here tonight around the 2.6-mile Super Speedway in Seattle, Washington. Austin Spencer starts on the pole position, and uh, he is second in points right now behind Eric Almanhart, so he's got a good shot tonight at uh, taking the points lead from him. Uh, at the end of this race, we'll see how it all plays out. Let's get to the starting lineup. Austin Spencer starts on the pole. Joffrey Toussaint is alongside him. We got Richard Schaffner, Will Blake, Eric Hyman, Stuart Gratton, Harajel Arvin Alonso, Alan Cavagnaro, Adam Pinchon, Aaron Walpole, Eric Powers, Ferdinand Gabat, Christian Master, Jacob Reed, Tyler Selzman, Dana Mon, Kevin Gamdara. I do apologize for having two R's in your name. I know it's only supposed to be one. I just haven't changed it. I just realized that. Sorry. Anyway, uh, Warren Henniger, Riley White, Caleb Hoffman, Biff Crapton, Cameron Garlington, Trey Barto, L.J. Mills, Matt Dalio, Nicholas Samadio, who won the last race, uh, Mason Powers, Elijah Gordon, won the uh, showdown here yesterday, Donovan Skivnicki, Dejon Weeks, Dale Salzman, Max Newerf, Cameron Gaju, Clint Buchanan, Diego Stevenson, Dean Wickard, Garrett Sonor, Eric Allmanhart, our points leader, Tristan Walker, our points leader is Eric Elmhart, not Tristan Walker. Tristan Walker and Marshall Free. Let's get to the race. 15 laps of action here today at the Armory Digital Super Speedway. Drivers to your car. Okay. Whatever. And everybody is starting. I made sure of that before I started the race. That's why you kind of see them move from where they were to where they are now. So, yeah. The 16th race of the season. Eric Almanhart is the points leader. Second in points is Austin Spencer. Dale Salzman is in third. And uh, Will Blake, I'm pretty sure, is in fourth. So things could change at the end of this one. And after this race, we will only have eight races to go until the championship race at Homestead. Well, actually, we only have eight races to go, including the championship race at Homestead. So, yeah. Uh, the driver won this race earlier in the season. Well, not this exact race, but won here earlier this season. Christian Master is starting uh, 14th, or sorry, 13th in a number 9. So, yeah, I'm tired, so this might not go as well as the other races. Races yesterday, I think, were really good. Uh, that, but we'll see uh, how this one is. It should be a good one. Here we go. Austin Spencer and Geoffrey Toussaint are going to lead us off. Green flag here at Armory Digital for the Armory Digital 250. Will Blake in the 39. Right behind Austin Spencer. Spencer gets the jump on Geoffrey Toussaint. You got Eric Hyden in the 28 back here. And Herjel Arvin Alonzo, who is the points leader in the Napa Truck Series, moving his way up in the 42. Here comes Will Blake for the lead in a number 39 with Eric Hyden behind him. And already, four wide. That's Eric Powers on the inside there. Moving his way up on that inside lane. And Will Blake in a number 39. He's trying to take the lead. We'll see if he can uh, lead this lap, and it looks like he will. Will Blake leads the first lap of the Armory Digital 250. Here comes Eric Powers in the 88. He won at Talladega earlier this season. Uh, but that is his only Crown Royal Series win uh, so far this season. Matter of fact, only two drivers have won twice this season. That's the two top two in points, Eric Almanhart and Austin Spencer. Man, there are four wide and three wide and all that throughout the whole pack. We get really crazy racing here at uh, Armory Digital Super Speedway. It's always a good one. And uh, especially yesterday, we had a lot of good racing. Now we're going three wide for the lead. Here comes Stuart Gratton in the number 60. Going three wide underneath of Eric Powers and Eric Hyden. And Adam Pinchon makes it four wide for the lead. Wow, four wide for the lead here in the Armory Digital 250. And Adam Pinchon, who won at Dover earlier this season, is now taking the lead. And he's going to do it, too. What a strong move by Adam Pinchon in the number 55. But Stuart Gratton 
He's going to take that lead right back from him. Kevin Gandara in the 26, moving his way up in that car. We've got Dana Mon here in the 40. Uh, we also have the four of Trey Bartow on this inside lane here. Stuart Gratton in the number 60, the leader here at Armory Digital Super Speedway. Trey Bartow on the inside lane, moving his way up, but it's going to be Stuart Gratton who's going to lead this lap here. Gandara in the 26, going to the high lane. That's not really where you want to be. You want to be on the inside lane. You got Trey Bartow here and the 16 of Jacob Reed. Caleb Hoffman in the number 10 on this inside lane. Richard Schaffner, Nicholas Amadio. But it's still Stuart Gratton out front. But he's got to hold off Trey Bartow, who's going to the inside. And Trey Bartow takes the lead from Stuart Gratton. But here comes Caleb Hoffman and Richard Schaffner. Through the trioval, Caleb Hoffman trying to get a run on Trey Barto, but Barto leads that lap. Caleb Hoffman in the number 10, now out front in the number 10. Why do I do that? I always repeat the same things over and over again. And they are coming really close to crashing back here. That's Will Blake uh, along with few other guys here. I think uh, Will Blake was part of a like three wide. They were like five wide there for a moment there. And they were really close to each other. And uh, I really need to turn this sound down. <laughs> yeah. Richard Schaffner now taking the lead in a number 98. And that should be a little better there. I just had it up way too loud. Max Neuerf, it's good to see Max Neuerf up here. He hasn't really had that good of a season in that number 74. But he's up here trying to get a win at Armory Digital in the Crown Royal Series. We'll see if he can do it. Tristan Walker in the 44 now moving his way up to the lead as uh, Schaffner led the, that pass lap. And Tristan Walker, who started in uh, next to last place, has now moved his way all the way up to the lead. That is how fast things can change here at Armory Digital. Look at the way they're racing. Five wide. Four wide in most places, and it's really crazy out there. That's Dean Wickard and Stuart Gratton. And Max Neuwirth in the 74 is going to lead lap number six. Here comes our pole sitter, Austin Spencer, who won the HERS Elimination Series race here yesterday. And our points leader, Eric Gallmanhardt in the 29, trying to win his third race of the season. But it is Austin Spencer out front in the number 22. Can he get it done here tonight in Armory Digital and get his third win of the season? And possibly get the points lead. He's got to hold off the points leader, Eric Gallmanhardt, right now. And Eric Almanhart to the point here at Armory Digital. We got Mason Powers and his teammate, uh, Jonathan Skibnicki. The, um, oh, what team is that? Childress. Childress teammates. Why couldn't I think of that? Elijah Gordon, another Childress driver, moving his way up in the 33. We got the uh, 43 of Dale Salzman. He's third in points right now. And he's moving his way up front. His Mason Powers is now the leader. Uh, here in the Armory Digital 250. Nicholas Samadio won the last race in the Crown Royal Series. He won at Nashville. And now he's on this inside lane moving his way up with Eric Powers and Cameron Gaju behind him. Gaju won the truck race yesterday. That Gaju won the truck race. Spencer won the Hers Elimination Series race. They get to him. And, uh... Elijah Gordon won the Chick-fil-A showdown. So a lot of drivers who have won here are up in this field right now. Dale Salzman's going to lead this lap, trying to grab his first career Napa fan win. He has never won on Napa fan before. He's definitely a good contender to get a win here soon. Uh, he's going to lose the lead, though, to our past winner, the last winner in the Crown Royal Series, Nicholas Samadio in the number 20, who won at Nashville. 
And that's got to bring out a caution. Kevin Gandara in the 26 with, uh, with problems. We'll see who wins the race to the line, and then we'll review what happened to Kevin Gandara to bring out the first caution of this race. We'll see Eric Powers trying to move his way up. And Biff Crafton as well. We'll see who's it going to be. I think Eric Powers is going to do it. Uh, maybe not. It's going to be close. Eric Powers wins the race to the line. Trey Bartow torn up. Kevin Naro torn up. And I think we had another crash. Oh, man. We had a big crash. Riley White, he got torn up in the at Armory Digital earlier in the season as well. He's got damage. We'll see. Kevin Gandara. Yeah. Okay, we know that Gandara got a lot of this. Oh, it happens in front of him. Clint Buchanan, Trey Bartow, Caleb Hoffman, Dana Mon in the wall there. They're going four wide, and I think Trey Bartow pushed Dana Mon into the fence, and there they all go. Gandara spun around, Pinchon, Hoffman with damage, Riley White, Trey Bartow, and Kevin Gandara got the worst of it, and then number 26. See them all, all of them piling up in there in turn one, and Gandara got the worst of it. Got Adam uh, Pinch or Adam Pinchon might have been involved in the 55. Caleb Hoffman got a lot of this, and it was the four of Trey Bartow who pushed who pushed Dana Mon uh, up into the catch fence there, and uh, didn't really work too well. Having Nara wall torn up in the 54. Riley White, Caleb Hoffman, Trey Bartow, Kevin Gandara. And Eric Powers, the new leader here, uh, will probably have about two or three laps to go to finish this one out here at Armory Digital. Uh, remember, Eric Powers' teammate, uh, or, uh, Christian Master, won this race, won here earlier uh, in the season. So the junior motorsports cars are definitely good drivers here at uh, good cars here at Armory Digital. And there's the race back to the line, and Eric Powers won it. And all those guys torn up. They're probably gonna, some of them are probably gonna have to go to the pit road. But uh, anyway, let's get to the restart here in the Armory Digital 250. Eric Powers is the leader in the number 88. Okay, here we come to the restart. Eric Powers, Nicholas Samadio, Biff Crafton, Cameron Gaju, Mason Powers, the top five. And it's two laps to go in the Armory Digital 250 here in the Crown Royal Series at Armory Digital Super Speedway. Five-car breakaway. Sort of. Sort of. We'll see who's going to win this race. Eric Powers up front. Here comes Biff Crafton in the eight, trying to win his first race of the season and become the first-ever six-time winner on Napa Fan. Will he do it? Biff Crafton, one of the greatest drivers on Napa Van. He's won three times in the Hers Elimination Series and twice in the Cup Series. He's a part-time driver in the Cup Series in season number two right now. But he's now trying to get a Crown Royal Series win here tonight. But he's got to hold off Mason Powers in the number three. Mason Powers takes the lead on the white flag lap. But we got guys like Elijah Gordon and Jonathan Skivnicki. How about those uh, Childress cars. We got Cameron Gaju up here as well. All four of them doing a fantastic job here tonight. Mason Powers out front. Here comes Elijah Gordon. And here comes Jonathan Skivnicki in the two. Skivnicki trying to win his first career race on Napa Fan. So is Mason Powers. Elijah Gordon has won uh, a race this season. He's trying to make it two this season. But here comes Jonathan Skivnicki in the two. Skivnicki trying to win his first career Napa Fan race. He's Got a nose underneath for the 33 and the 3. Here comes the 2. Will Blake in the 39 back here as well. But Jonathan Skivnicki in the 2 takes the lead. And he's able to clear everyone behind him. Jonathan Skivnicki and the number 2 is finally going to get it done on Napa Fan. He wins the Armory Digital 250. Finally has done it here on Napa Fan. Wow. 
It has taken him nine months to get a win on this channel. I am counting all those races that he raced before the whole high just, and he finally gets it done here in the Crown Royal Series. Jonathan Skibnicki, the winner of the Armory Digital 250. That was the only lap he led as well. How about that? Wow. I know a lot of you guys <laughs> probably think I'm biased here, but he's a great friend of mine, one of the greatest friends I have, and uh, it is really great to see him finally get a win. Will Blake got fourth. Austin Spencer got eighth. Man, <laughs> I'm happy for him, okay? I mean... You know, I may be a little biased, but I didn't make him win, so just keep that in mind. I don't make people win, but I am happy that he won because it's taken him forever to get a win, and he finally does it here tonight. So there are your finishing results. How about those children's cars? They finished one, two, three. Jonathan Skinnicki, Elijah Gordon, and Mason Powers. They've got Will Blake, Richard Schaffner, Biff Craft, and Nicholas Samadio, Austin Spencer, Eric Powers, and Tristan Walker, the top ten. Take a look at the rest of the results right here. A lot of those guys involved in that crash and uh, all of that. And uh, we're, able to, we're unable to finish the race. But Jonathan Skinnicki gets it done here in the Crown Royal Series. And he is finally a Napa fan winner. The 41st different driver to win a race on Napa fan. That is how many drivers, uh, that's how many drivers have won on Napa fan before. Quite a few. And, uh, we don't really have many drivers who have not won before, uh, anymore. Matt Dalio is still one of them. Mason Powers is another guy. Will Blake. Uh, a lot of those guys haven't won yet on this channel, but, uh, it's going to come soon. Joffrey Dusan, another one of those guys who has never won before. But uh, we should see those guys break some losing streaks here soon. And Jonathan Skinnicki just breaked his one of the longest losing streaks on Napa Fan. If you want to count all the races before the hiatus um, and all of that, probably over 200 starts without a win. And he finally gets it done here tonight in the Crown Royal Series. So congratulations to Jonathan Skimdicky on winning the Armory Digital 250. And here are the points for the Crown Royal Series. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Whoopsie -daisy.